Good morning, I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm gonna to do a basic get ready with me talking about powder foundation and how I make it work for my mature skin. I think that's about the only thing that is mature about me. And I wanna announce the winners of my six year anniversary on YouTube giveaway. Illinois, I'm filming this on Tuesday, so I won't have I won't pick the winners until tomorrow. And I think today is May 25th. I wouldn't bet on it. I, I know it's Tuesday. The state of Illinois is supposed to open this Friday. So you can see I haven't been to I haven't been to my hairstylist. I haven't touched up my own roots and I don't have anything to cover them up on my hair today. I just wanted to come in here and film this video and talk to you a little bit as I film. I am wearing my pajamas and I am not going anywhere today. So I'm going to go ahead and start my get ready with me. I've completed my skincare and I don't have anything on my face. I don't have any concealer or uh, primer. So the first thing I'm going to do today is put an eyelid primer. And I'm going to be very careful not to get it in my eyelashes. I don't get any of my skincare in my eyelashes because I do think that really helps keep your mascara on. What I'm using is by Tarte. It, they don't make it anymore. But the one that I like that they make now almost as well is the one by Milani. I just put a tiny bit on my fingers and I will just dab it on my eyelids just like that. And I have to have, it's not optional for a primer for me if I want to wear eyeshadow or if I want to wear eyeliner. So I'm just going to dab that on this area right here. And I'm just, it's a little bit tacky, but it does not, it's not opaque. It doesn't cover the color of my eyelids. The more opaque it is, I think sometimes that will make the crepiness show. So you want to have, I, for me, I want to have it as clear as possible. So that is now dry. So I'm going to take my Laura Geller powder in the shade light, and it's the Balance and Brighten. And I have had these for years. And I have the light and the medium, and that's what the light looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a brush, whatever one I brought in, and it's going to be the IT Cosmetic Dual Ended, and I'm going to do my eyelids. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm just going to very gently place it on. And I do this instead of a light eyeshadow a lot of the times, because at this point, I don't know for sure what I'm going to put on my eyes. I don't know for sure what I'm going to wear today. So I'm just going to put some of this powder on my eyelids and kind of what I do is when I put up when I put on makeup I'm thinking what do I need the most well for me what I need the most is mascara so now that I have that, that powder now that I have the powder foundation on my eyelids I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara and what I use is it superhero it's one of those either you love them or you love it's one of those either you love it or you don't and I love it and I haven't used anything else but I have ordered something it'll probably take a while to get here but I have ordered a new mascara that I just was dying to try so when I put on mascara I have my mascara and then I have a clean wand that I've kept from an old mascara because sometimes I need it and sometimes I don't so I'm gonna open this up and I change them every season and there's the wand. So I'm going to probably do about 13 strokes, and I probably will count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And without going back in, I go ahead and do the other eye. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I go ahead and put it back in, and then I will brush my lashes if I need to, and I think I need to. And there's no mascara on here. I don't curl my lashes anymore. I used to curl them all the time, but I started they started breaking off. So that's my first step in makeup. My second one is I always put and I'm going to show you so you can see the difference. I see a difference. I don't know if you'll see a difference or not, but I'm going to use 
um, some navy eyeliner in my upper waterline. And I'm going to go ahead and do it now, and, and then I'll tell you when I'm done in case it bothers you. But I just go like this. Maybe you can see a difference. I always can. And I do have a contact in this eye right now, and this is by Milk. There's several of them that I like. It, and then there's another one. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it right here. And it doesn't bother my contact lenses. It doesn't bother my eyes. And <clears throat> I just wipe it off with a tissue when I'm done. The next thing I'm going to do is under my eyes and in this area that's really dark. And I just take the same powder foundation, the Balance and Brighten from Lara Geller. And I'm going to go in with a brush like this. And it's, it's dense, but it's soft. And I'm just going to go right here. And then I'll bring it down right here. Just kind of bounce it on there. Sound like Bob Ross. Just bounce it on. But as you can see, I'm not moving my under eye area. I didn't sleep as well last night, so it may take a little bit more. And today I don't want to have a whole lot of coverage. I just want to even out my skin tone. I have redness right here because I have broken capillaries on both cheeks and I've scratched my head a couple of times today. I'm trying press on nails and I'll talk about them. I've only had them on a few days so I'll talk about them but I don't know that I'm a nail person. I don't know but they're pretty. The two brushes I brought out with me today is one from It Cosmetics and one from Flower Beauty and they're both soft this one is a little bit softer than this, but I think I'm going to use this today. I don't want a very dense brush because I want to use put the smallest amount of powder on my face to get the maximum amount of coverage. If you know in the area right here, I used a shorter brush that was a little bit more dense, but I wanted to deposit more powder around my eyes. And you know what? It doesn't get looking cakey at all. Anyway, I'm going to dab my brush in here, and I'm going to just go on my face, and I'm going to do the areas that are the worst first. And I'm going to do my mouth because, because I want to put on lipstick. And I think today that what I brought out here with me is, it is Plum Rose by Milani. And I really like it. And I'm going to wear uh, a shirt today that this will go. These are my pajamas. So anyway, I'm going to put on my lipstick. And Milani does make beautiful lipsticks. I don't put on, I don't put a primer on before I do my lips. And I don't use lip pencils. Very seldom. I'm going to try to get to using them. But I just haven't ever gotten into the habit. What I like about the Milani lipstick is that it shows the color on the end, and I think that's really nice. There's no guesswork whatsoever. So now that I have that, I feel like my face maybe has come alive a little, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my powder. I didn't even put any on the, my forehead, and that's probably what needs it the most. I don't know if you can hear Jim singing in the kitchen, but he is. And I've also been using the Grande Brows every other night since about, I think, a month ago. And I'll put that video in here that I started. I bought my new refill. I haven't even had to open that one up yet. But I've been doing it every other night, and I haven't had to use a brow, brow product. So that makes me happy. Jim laughs when I say I'm a slacker. He'll hear, he'll hear, I, I find him sometimes watching my videos. He thinks I'm the opposite of a slacker. He thinks I'm a perfectionist. But I'm really, like, I want to do the least amount, like, especially, like, with my hair and my makeup. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing those things. I do love to play in my makeup. I love to play in eyeshadow. But there's other things that I enjoy more. So if I can kind of, you know, hurry through some things, I will. Some time ago, I mean, I bought this last year. Several years ago, I bought it in medium. So if I want to put a little bit of color in my face, 
I'll just take the brush and kind of go around it just to kind of warm it up a little bit. Not very much, but it does change it a little bit. And I'll kind of use it to contour a little bit down here. I wish I could contour a whole lot, but hey, it is what it is. And now I want to use blush. And, and you know what? I, I have always really enjoyed Laura Geller's product, and I've had this for a year. You just kind of get used to using the same things all the time, or at least I do. And I believe this is in pink grapefruit. And since I didn't bring a blush brush in here, I'm going to use this brush and just t touch it on the top. Yeah, I should have brought a different brush. This doesn't do too well, but it'll be okay for today. I can hear Jim in there singing. And today I'm going to use an oldie but a goodie, and I'm going to put a picture of it up here somewhere. It's the Lorac Unzipped, and here it is right here. I love this palette, but I'm going to go for a matte look, I think, today. And I've just brought one brush out here with me, and this should be able to do the whole thing. And this is from, I think, BK Beauty. It's the, I think it's a 205. So what I, I can do everything with an angled brush. I'm going to use Unconditional, and I'll, I'll list that up there. And I'm just going to put it all over my lids and up in my crease. And I'm going to be very careful not to move my eyelids around. Just patting it in, kind of going over it. I should have done something else first. I'm going to put a little bit of the white right here, right in the corner. There's usually a shade in every palette that is really light and that's matte, and that's what I'll do right there, just to kind of help bring that out. Now I'm going to wipe that brush off again, and I'm going to go into Unspoken. I love gray eyeshadow, and this to me is a pretty gray. And so I'm going to take this brush, and I'm going to put some eyeshadow on here and on here, not on the side. And we'll see how this goes. And I'm going to go right here and go up. And I'm going to do the same for the other eye. I'm going to take the tip and put it right at the brow bone and go up and down or across and over. And I'm going to make sure that none of it is coming down. I don't, I don't ever want my eyeshadow to go down. And so today I think I'm going to go ahead and use eyeliner and I finally got the black that I love. And in an order, I know last year I talked about ordering this twice from Ulta, and it's a Physician's Formula Eyeliner, and also a lash booster. I don't know if it boosts lashes or not, but they kept sending me brown. So finally, I got a black one, and I'm happy. This is my second favorite as far as staying. This, this will literally stay 12 hours if I have on eye eyelid primer and eyeshadow and I still like my it superhero liner I can use it without anything I can just use it if you see me in videos and I have on mascara and eyeliner and no eyeshadow I probably have on the it but I'm gonna go ahead and get this out and I've shared this before but I do have some new subscribers years ago I decided that I'm gonna the reason I put my mascara on first there's lots of reasons so I don't mess up my eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff but if I want to wear eyeliner I need them to be as firm as they can be so this I can rest this on my eyelashes and I'm gonna go ahead and get started and it's tricky here I have my elbow on the table I'm gonna just place this on top of my lashes and go across and I don't know why I'm doing this one. This is my harder one to do. And I'll go, then I'll go right here and go across. And then what I do, I just place this 
right here and make a little wing. And that's how I do my eyeliner. I'm gonna try this side and see how this does. That's something I really can't talk when I'm doing my eye eyeliner or my lipstick. And then I'll just go right here and make it just kind of come up a little bit. And when I'm done, you do have a little bit of time with this. If your wing isn't exactly like you want, you can kind of go like that and move it up. Some of them, the It Superhero, once you place it, it stays. But they do have a lot of really good affordable eyeliners, or less expensive. I'm not sure what the best term is. But that, if you're interested in doing liquid liner, I would buy the least expensive that they have that doesn't isn't permanent and just practice. You know, put your elbow on a table if you can. And a lot of people say, put your finger on your face. I never did, it never did work. But a lot of times what I'll do is I will move my eyes across my eyeliner. And that's what I did when I was started. But you know, I have used eyeliner for 50 years. And the first one I ever used was a cake eyeliner. And you added a little bit of water to the cake and you used a brush. And I know that they said, oh, and it was wonderful. That's how I learned with a brush. I never really used a eye pencil. I know I talk about this a lot, but I never could get it right, no matter how soft it is. So I, I either use eyeshadow and I kind of just wet a little corner of it and just with water. I, I don't have to use Fix Plus or whatever. I just have to just use water and I'll just kind of make it into a, a little bit of a paste just in a little corner. If you go over the whole eyeshadow, you're, it's going to be hard pan all over and, and it's I think it will. Anyway, that's been my experience. But you can just add a little bit of water to your brush and, and get it to the right consistency and put it on. And it works really well. And a lot of people have asked me if I still use Mali Pore Defender. I do, especially when it is hot and humid. And all I do is I take a sponge. That's when I use a sponge. And here is Mali Pore Defender. And I don't know if they're going to quit making it. I hope not. I do ha still have a backup. Um, but I see it on sale all the time, so that always makes me worry. But I, so I just take my sponge and I dab it in here. It's it's just a different consistency. And any area that I think is shiny, I'm going to bounce. Did you see how much difference that made? And I might put a little bit more on my sponge. And I'll go right across here. But what it does, it, it here I have on powder foundation, but sometimes my own skin comes through the powder. And I don't use, if I use a regular foundation, a liquid foundation, or a BB cream or a CC cream, I don't use powder. I use this. But to, to kind of make this all meld together, it works really well. And CoverGirl, I think, made one, and Ulta. I've tried the one from Ulta and it just didn't um, it didn't work out as well and I still I, I never put this on my skin first I, I always put this last the Mali Pore Defender I promise I felt better in person than I looked in this video uh, I loved reading the comments that you left on my six-year anniversary video what type of videos you like from me and I'm working on that it gave me a really good idea what you all like and now I want to announce the winners of my giveaway. And this is for a $100 e-gift card or $100 in your PayPal account, whichever you choose. The first name that came up is Pam Collins. Congratulations, Pam. The second name that came up in Random Comment Picker was Stuart Pierce. And her name is Jennifer. Congratulations, Jennifer. I'm going to give you both two weeks to claim your gift and just make sure you leave a comment below. I want to congratulate both lucky winners and make sure you leave a comment in the comments below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me so you can claim your prize. I hope you all are doing well and saying, staying safe. It sure is an interesting time in our lives. I appreciate you all so, so much. 
Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the comments. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Take care. And I'm just going to get started. And sometimes the way I do things, I change it up. I don't have anything on my lips. So, uh, and I've tried both. No, I haven't. My The hairstylist. And I'm fine with that because I think that does. And then I'll tell you when, I, when it's... The more birthdays we have, the less we want our, our uh, makeup to look. Well, we don't want to have it to look cakey anytime. More 